Hello friends, this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to attempt to do a non-technical but kind of technical analysis of NFT collectibles. And I'm going to do this real time. So without any further delay, I'm going to jump into my computer, not literally, but like digitally go into my computer and maybe change the camera to over there somewhere. So we, we do, Never mind. let's just do it. It actually worked. It's crazy. Hello again. The first thing that I want to cover is for us to understand how do you read any collection. I use these four labels to kind of figure out if it's smart for me to buy into a project. So the first is items. The number of NFTs in any collection is the items. Usually you'd see 10K in avatar projects. This is important to understand because the less the item, the more demand it would generate any project. So the second label is owners. This label is very important because what we generally understand from owners is the more the owners, the more saturated a project is. Let's talk about floor price. So floor price is basically the entry point into any NFT collection. It means that this is the lowest amount that you have to pay to get into the project. And the final one is volume traded. So volume traded is the total amount of Ethereum that has been spent to trade this NFT collection. Since we have covered the basic definitions of all four of these labels, let's talk about their implications. Just like traditional economic goes, it's entirely a play on supply and demand. So the volume traded on board a Yacht Club is pretty huge, which means that there is a lot of demand. And since there are only 10,000 items, that means that the floor price, the minimum price to get into this project would be a lot higher. So this is the basic dynamics. If you look at art blocks curated, you'll notice something really interesting. If you look at the item, those are almost 40,000 and Board Ape Yacht Club were 10,000. That translates into floor price being relatively lower. Keeping in mind that I'm just talking about the floor price, which is the lowest entry point into a collectible, and there are always items that are more rare than others and are more pricey than others. I want to talk about two more things before I end this video. The first thing is using the label of owners to understand the maturity of a project. If you look at Board Ape Yacht Club, if you look at Cool Cats, if you look at Pudgy Penguins, you can understand that generally projects reach their maturity around 5k owners. So how can you use this to your advantage? Well, you can look for projects that are very promising and have less than 4,000 owners and its floor price is kind of low you can probably say that it's a little bit undervalued and it has the potential to grow. I use this strategy to invest in a few projects that are kind of doing well. Dead Fellas is a project that comes to mind. When I discovered Dead Fellas, they had about 3,700 owners, which was less than 5K, and their community and their entire aura was pretty strong. And their floor price at that time was 0.2 Ethereum. So I realized that its owners will grow and its floor price would rise. Now they have like 400 more owners and their floor price have gone almost double, more than that. And I predict this to grow even more. The final thing that I wanna cover is if I click on volume traded, I'm gonna see a few interesting things. It's gonna show me the average price of the past seven days. One more thing that I can see from this window is this graph. This graph is basically showing me the statistics for this project per day. Because in the NFT space, a lot of projects can go up, but they can also go down very quickly. So this graph basically shows stability. If you think about it, CryptoPunk is not only stable, but it's one of the biggest NFT collection of all time. I can use their statistics to understand the NFT market as well. So if you see CryptoPunk trading for low, if you see their trade volumes go down, that generally means that the entire NFT market is, is probably down. So you can use blue chip projects or you can use big projects to actually understand the market conditions of the entire NFT world. We have actually reached the very end of this video. If you want more of these semi-structured videos, just let me know in the comments. This is an experiment. I'm not sure if you're receiving this well or not. So let's communicate. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.